I just arrived in Orlando again. I literally had just come back from RIM and I had a couple days of coaching and then got asked to fill in as a red carpet host for VIP pageantry. If you guys haven't heard of VIP pageantry, you should. They're this really great network and they stream a lot of pageants. There's different pageant based shows on it. So I'll link that in the description below so you could check it out if you love pageants. But I'm really excited. I'm at this hotel which is right beside Disney Springs. It is the B Hotel and Spa. I've actually never heard of this one before, but I am so pleasantly surprised with the room. I mean, I just walked in, just set down my things and I'm going to go out to dinner with the team right now. But let me let me show you around because I don't know if you're like me, but I do love some hotel recommendations. So this is the room. It has, first of all, its own little living room, okay? And the bathroom is pretty darn cute, okay? Here's our beautiful view and balcony. So excited. And then there's a fridge in there. We don't have a microwave, unfortunately, but that's okay. Okay, and then, so this is might be my favorite feature. This room has no lights in it, as you can see. And I know not many people might like that, but if you're like me and you really love a dark room, like shades closed, you don't want to be woken up by the sunlight, this is your room, friends. This is for you. The closet's not too big, but honestly, I'm not really gonna be here for that long. But anyways, just wanted to share that with you. Super excited to be working with VIP pageantry and I'm looking forward to watching this brand new pageant, Universal Miss. Can't wait to see what they're all about. Also, since I did not have any time to get myself ready before dinner with the team, I am just gonna throw on some Dossier perfume in Fruity Magnolia, which I'm super excited about. So, ooh, this is the one I am using today. And let's just, oh my gosh, yes. I like to like, right? Now I won't feel so much like I just got off of a plane. I'm excited for food. Note to self, the elevators take forever. Good morning, friends. I woke up this morning at 8.45. That is what I call sleeping in lately. I already spoke to the producer for VIP pageantry. We had a little meeting today to prep for this afternoon. It's only 10, it's 10 right now. I'm trying to get a little bit of work done, answer emails for clients, and I'm trying to convince myself that I like Greek yogurt. I, I've just never been a fan, and I purchased this yesterday at the airport because I knew I would need snacks, and I still don't like Greek yogurt. All right, when it has chocolate and almonds, it's not as bad. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go downstairs. It just tastes so bad. It tastes rotten to me. It tastes like the yogurt, yogurt is not, not, not supposed to taste like. I already did some abs this morning. I'm gonna have a protein shake. It's gonna be a good day. It's about 10.30 now. I'm barely starting to wake up. Isn't that neat? Ah, not bad. Dossier, my favorite. Mm. Let's talk about products, friends. Because they don't have time to film a complete get ready with me. I'm just using the e.l.f. BB cream. This has SPF in it, even though I'm not really going outside, I don't think, but it's, whatever, I'm still gonna use it. And then I just top, top it off a little bit with the Dior foundation. I'm gonna just use the Maybelline Fit Me Under Eye Concealer in light. We're gonna set it with Laura Mercier's Secret Under Eye Brightening powder. We're going to set the rest of the face with a mixture of a bunch of different extra powders that I have. I'll be using the butter bronzer to bronze everything. It just it just blends the face to the neck. I'll be using Hoola to contour a little bit. Also, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop Blusher. Yes, love this so much. I'm using same same palette Nanomax featuring Jaclyn Hill, it's their collaboration. Uh, love, 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 love this palette. We're gonna use an e.l.f. brow pencil, then a NYX, this guy, the NYX brow mascara, some fake eyelashes. I mean, it, I've been liking this Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara. This has been doing pretty well. And then, I don't know exactly what lips I'm gonna do, I'll figure that out later, but probably, 
top them off with some with some NYX butter gloss. Something like that. Here we are today again, friends. Here is our outfit of the day. Honestly, it's a little loose on me, okay? But there was no time because this whole trip was booked the night before and I flew out at 6.45 in the morning, as you all know by now. We're backless today. I'm, okay, here we go. Let me do a little. Wearing my Pretty Party ponytail extension, which I'm obsessed with. Honestly, I love it. I love that today this is covering some of my back, so it's just not as exposed. But now I'm thinking I really want a shorter version of it because I'm probably wearing this way too much. This is our look. This is our makeup for the day. So there's that. I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna capture some content that I can put on the social media pages for VIP pageantry, and then we officially start the red carpet at 2 p.m. So if you guys want to check out some of these clips, then just follow VIP pageantry. You'll see me there. Just wrapped the red carpet coverage for our first show, for first finale, and now I ran to my room so I can eat. Honestly, this is not bad. I feel like I have these great opportunities to do a lot of really cool things. Like I feel, why is that making me emotional? Um, I feel very fortunate and very blessed that I have been given these opportunities in my life's path and I'm able to be here today. I mean, I'm looking out the window and the views are just beautiful. And I just feel today so far from where I started in life. And it's just such a wonderful testament to what following your dreams can do, what pageantry can do for young women, but really what setting goals and achieving those goals can do for you. <laughs> so all of that, you know, just to say the stuff that people see on Instagram, you, you know, always remember it is the highlight reel. It is the stuff. This, in this moment, me being by myself in a hotel room, running downstairs and getting a sandwich from the little cafe market downstairs, this is real. I feel like we look at Instagram and everything looks so glamorous and very rarely I think that it is. There are those moments in life that you really get to enjoy that are truly beautiful. But if you want to do things like this ladies and be a red carpet host or be a title holder and go to all of these unique events and be one in the spotlight, like this is actually what it looks like, right? Like me back in my room doing my own hair and makeup, uh, setting up my own lighting and camera with with some assistance from our production. So now I learned how to do that. Uh, miking, you know, miking myself, getting that all ready. And uh, ah, this is what it really looks like. So I have a little bit of a break right now. Phone's going off. And then I'm gonna get back downstairs and do a little bit of Instagram coverage for the show before we get ready for the next one. I will show you guys behind the scenes, but I just wanted to share this with you. Just to always remember and put things in perspective, like stuff looks so great on Instagram and like hosting and everything looks so awesome. Um, but this is the real life part of it. I'm not so glamorous, but honestly though, I'm so impressed. I've never had this. This is a handcrafted with boar's head. I, I don't really know. There's no other label on it. I guess they're just making this down here, but this boar's head meat has a little bit of like peppercorn in it. 10 out of 10 recommend. Wow. Let's go. did the final red carpet and now all I have to do are the post show interviews with our new title holders that's it it was a great day I came upstairs for just a little bit I touched up my face and also ate a little bit too so I'm gonna go watch the end of the show uh, okay. Present time is over we're just here I'll show you guys the setup so we are about to go live on VIP pageantry we're back to all the sponsors. So I'm just waiting for our new queens to get here. It's been a long day. I'm tired. Definitely ready for bed. I gotta pack though and plan for my 6.30 a.m. flight. Not my favorite, but let's just hope I can get home. It's 
considering the weather is kind of crazy right now. Oh, please tell me I can get out of here. Oh no. Oh, I hope this storm blows over. Praying for clear skies. It is. There it is. It's 5 a.m. So it's the end of this vlog. Uber's on the way. I'm gonna run downstairs. Thank you all for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to sleep and maybe edit others on probably my second flight. I don't think the first flight. And my layover, two and a half hour layover. How did that even happen? Anyways guys, love you all so much. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.